Well, joining us now from Washington, Clinton supporter and old friend Lanny Davis. Lanny, great to see you. Great to see President Clinton well, doing his thing. Uh, well, I find it interesting, Lanny, that now you all are coming along to this conclusion that we've had, we conservatives, for decades. The media is liberal, and it's always going to favor the more liberal candidate in a race. Will you say now that the media is liberal and it has an agenda? Well, I have to say that I now know what it feels like to be a Republican. <laughs> Will you say now that the media is liberal and it has an agenda? Well, I have to say that I now know what it feels like to be a Republican. <laughs> yeah, well, Fox News actually has given Mrs. Clinton, we're going to hear from her any moment, uh, give, yeah. gave Mrs. Clinton the fairest shake of all these networks. Would you not uh, agree with that? I would agree with that, and the emails that I receive from Clinton supporters say that they've turned off the other two cable stations and they walked Fox. So something has happened out there where I think Fox has uh, achieved the fairness and balance that it's always says it's been. I mean, Lanny, how bizarre is it now? that you look at the media and you see that the media has a liberal agenda you see that now they're not going they're not going after her because she's a woman they're going after her because she's not as liberal as Barack Obama that's just a fact that's where the media oh. is so you see that and you also see the fact that if the these rules in these democratic contests were like the republicans rules Hillary Clinton would be the nominee, no question about it, right? Well, yes, but I would also say that they were like the rules of the United States Constitution, which says the big states have the electoral votes, not Idaho, Kansas, North Dakota, and uh, Wyoming having more power than uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Florida, and Michigan. There's write? something wrong with our system. If I had ever said to Hillary Clinton in the beginning of the campaign, you'll win every major industrial state from California to New York to Ohio and Pennsylvania, Michigan, Texas, right. you name what it. What does she do after this? And all we're, the border states, and you're not the well, nominee. Well, that's where we are. Only Fox delivered. Well, let me congratulate Fox, because you were the first ones to call it for Hillary. Fair and balanced Fox, you beat them all. Oh, now, Terry, explain why you like Carl's electoral map. Well, I, I mean, I, it's not that I like it. I think it's important to see. And listen, you got to give credit. Um, they didn't win 2000. They got it. But 2004, they clearly won that election. I think you've got to give credit to people when they actually win elections. Uh, they look at the numbers. And I think if you look at the maps that I guess Carl had sent out to a few people, Go through that. It looks like Hillary Clinton has a better shot of beating John McCain than Senator Obama. He's just looking at the numbers, doing the analysis, and how you win an electoral college victory. Carl is saying what I've said. We do agree that Hillary Clinton would be the toughest competitor to John McCain. Today, if you could snapshot today, where is it on Hillary yeah. versus John McCain and Senator Obama versus John McCain? Very good, Terry. Totals? Very good, Terry. He stayed focused on the big thing. Today, <laughs> today, uh, Senator, uh, Senator uh, Clinton leads Senator McCain in the Electoral College. I think it's fascinating. The headline here for you me know, is that Terry McAuliffe actually was agreeing with Carl Rove's math. Well, you know, if, if, uh, the, the Nostradamus <laughs> predicted that, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Satan. Terry, Terry agrees with Satan today. <laughs> oh, I don't know about right. that.